So this question is not asking us to round the numbers. They've already been rounded and we need to go backwards in time and figure out what were they rounded from. So when you're rounding to the nearest 10 and you end up with 290, did you round up to get to 290 or did you round down to get to 290? We don't know. So the original number must have been anywhere between 285 and 295. For the denominator, for the 12, that was rounded to the nearest integer. So again, was it rounded up to 12 or was it rounded down to 12? We don't know, so it must have been originally anywhere between 11 and a half and 12 and a half. Now, we want to know the full range of possibilities for this ratio, where the numerator is anywhere between 285 and 295, and the denominator is anywhere between 11 and a half and 12 and a half. So how do we find the full range? We would want to figure out the minimum possible ratio and the maximum possible ratio. But how do you minimize a ratio? You would take the smallest possible numerator with the largest possible denominator. So that would be 285 over 12 and a half. And how do we maximize a ratio? Other way around. We'd want the largest possible numerator with the smallest possible denominator. So that would be 295 over 11 and a half. And that takes us to answer choice D. If you found this video useful, go to quantreasoning.com for a lot more where that came from. You should also click that like button and let me know in the comments below what you'd like me to make future videos about. And of course, if you haven't yet subscribed, go ahead and do that and click that bell below so you get notified about future videos. See you next time.